Welcome back to a Math Thinking Thursday. And boy, are we gonna be thinking a lot today. We're gonna use what we know about subtraction to help us. So, I want to find out what is 10 less, 20 less, and 30 less than 42. So I'm gonna start right here with 42. Ten less than 42, remember I'm going up on the hundreds chart, would be 32. Twenty less, 10, 20, would be 22. And 30 less, 10, 20, 30, would be 12. Notice that in the tens place, we're going down, we're going backwards. So 42, 10 less was 32. 42, 20 less was 22. And here, 42, 30 less was 12. Excellent work, you've been doing that. And once again, remember to ask your teacher or print out a hundreds chart and keep that up to look at the patterns. Down here, we are critiquing Annette. She says the difference between 182 and 98 is 84. Is she correct? What does the word difference mean? So the number we have is 180, 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, and two versus 98, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are the two numbers that we are looking at. 182 and 98. So this word difference, you might be thinking, oh, what makes them different? There's a hundred here, there's no hundred there, there are two ones here, there are eight ones here. But in the world of math, the word difference means how many more or how many less. So difference means how many more or how many less? So the way that we find that out is by subtracting. Difference is a code word in math that means to subtract. You're finding the difference between two numbers. How much more or how much less is this number? So, if I subtract, and I'm gonna use expanded form, that's the strategy I'm gonna use here, because we'll really be able to see what happens when I subtract. So I'll put 182 and 98. See how that's expanded out? 182, 182 and then 98, 98. Remember when I subtract, I'm always subtracting from top to bottom. So that's why I put the larger number on top so I can subtract from that larger number. Now I always start in my ones place and I notice here that I have two. I like to always say if I have two cookies, can I eat eight of them? No, because I don't have enough to eat eight. But I can redistribute this number. Remember, this is the tens place. So I'm gonna move 10 over here and change this number to 12 because I'm connecting this 10, I'm adding this 10 to this two. And because I moved 10 from this place, this is an 80, this is 70. 
So remember I used that word redistribute because the number here was 82. Remember, if I just take out that 100, I have 82. But I didn't have enough to subtract, so I still have 82 because look, 70 plus 12 is 82. I just had to redistribute the number so I could subtract. So now can I do 12 minus eight? You bet I can. 12 minus eight, so 12 cookies and I eat eight of them, I have four left. So remember over here how I changed this, I redistributed it and I changed this to 70 since I already moved 10 over here. Well, now I have 70 minus 90. Can I do 70 minus 90? If I have 70 pieces of cake for the party, can I give it to 90 people? I can't, I don't have enough. So here I am gonna redistribute again. And this 100, I'm gonna move over to the tens place. So this becomes 170. I'm still just redistributing, so that's no longer 100 anymore. This is 170, and remember how my number was 182? I still have 170 plus 12, which is 182. I just redistributed it. So here, if I have 170 and I subtract 90, I would actually end up with 80. What's 80 plus four? 84. For those of us who like the standard algorithm, I can rewrite it like this. So some of you might recognize, oh, two minus eight, I'm not able to do that. I'm gonna take from here, change this to 12, change this to 70, because that's the tens place. So 70 is here, 90 is there. Oh, I see that I can't subtract the 70 minus 90, just like I couldn't here. So I have to move 100. So that's the 170, we just dropped off the zero. This is the 90, we just dropped off the zero. 12 minus eight is that four. 170, 17 tens, and nine tens is 80. So all in all, is a net correct? Is the difference between this number and this number, 182 and 98, is the difference 84? It absolutely is. And that was correct when we subtracted the difference. was 84. So the good news is you wrote out this answer, but if you didn't have this, your teacher or whoever checks your work, they would not know that you, how you worked it out. They wouldn't know, you could have been guessing. But here we can see the subtraction and we can see that you actually checked and you know what that word difference means because you knew to subtract and you checked your work. Don't forget to use some of these skills and strategies in class. Excellent work. See you tomorrow for Math Fun Friday. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. 
Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me. I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.